Hey everyone, Vince here. Today we're going to talk about some money making apps. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's kick this off. First up, we're going to talk about Cashy. Play and win money. Cashy has been around for such a long time now at this point, and today I'm going to show you some of the updates that have occurred since I last reviewed it a few months ago. So the whole layout looks exactly the same essentially, but you'll notice here in Australia at least, I can actually generate coins per minute now. And this per minute system, everyone, used to be a per level basis. So perhaps in your own country, Cashy will have a per minute system now. Cashy runs on a Coinbase system like you can see at the top of the screen here. It has a pretty solid referral system as well. Each friend that you add to Cashy will generate you 250 coins. Your friend will receive 25% of the coins that you earn and they will earn 25% of the coins that you generate as well. At least here in Australia, Cashy has a whole variety of different little gift card and discount options here. But if I tap the more payouts button, you'll notice that PayPal is still available. And at least here in Australia, 67 cents worth of Australian currency is 4,999 coins. And there are obviously multiple options here that you can withdraw from. So that's pretty cool. Looks like Cashy stepped it up a little bit, which is nice to see. By the way, you can find any referral codes in the description below, of course. And while you're there, join my free Discord as well. Next up, we have G Reward Earn Money Online. So G Reward is one of these very basic and easy to understand applications, in my opinion, for the fact they have so many different offer walls and of course earning opportunities. But recently I've had some comments from people telling me they can't actually get rewarded from the offers that they complete on here. I just want to talk to you about offer walls and how they work just to make sure everyone's on the same page. As you can see, I have almost 30,000 of the G reward currency. Tapping on the redemption button will allow you to see all the different cash out options that G reward is offering. And depending on your country, this is going to vary heavily, but at least here in Australia, I have PayPal, gift cards, even some sort of mobile phone recharge as well, which is pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever recharged through an application, so there's a new one. But either way, you'll notice here, for 20 cents worth of PayPal currency, it costs 3,000 points. $1 is 10,000 points. And this goes all the way up to $50 for almost half a million of the points. The reason why I like talking about G Reward is because it features an instant PayPal cash out system with such a low amount of money needed. Tapping on the more button will allow you to see the more in depth offer wall selections here. Let's go to AH Studios for instance. This is what the AH Studio offer wall looks like. And you can see we have a bingo holiday game offer available here for half a million of the points. That obviously equals $50. Tapping on the offer itself though will bring up this area and you can see here it's a multi-tiered offer guys, meaning you have to complete each of these tasks to get the full amount of currency. But do you see this at the bottom of the screen? New users only. This is where a lot of people go wrong because they sign up to these applications with the same email addresses that they've used on other money-making apps, which means you're not a new user anymore to these offer walls. Your email address is essentially a sign to that offer wall, guys. I've seen this majorly become an issue when apps use the sign in with Google option. So let's just say you have an address that's not linked to Google and you manually sign up with that email address, you should be okay because you're a new user, right? But if you're using your same Google account, these offer walls have very good tracking. And they know when your Google account has installed their application before on another money-making app. So that's my concept of new user, okay? I've been doing this a long time and I feel like that's exactly what it means. So even if you're a new user to G Reward, there's a good chance if you've used an app before on another offer wall, you won't get rewarded, okay? Simple as that. Next up, we have cash earning app, Givy Videos. Givy developer loves changing his app's names, doesn't he? <laughs> Either way, everyone, this is Givy Videos. It's an advertisement. <laughs> no, pretty much what's happened, Givy Videos has had a big update recently. A lot more advertisements, man. Get ready for it. This is what Givy Videos looks like these days. And you can see it's actually a bit different. We have more pop-ups appearing. Like right here, it's saying, because I watched that video ad, I've just generated some coins here. Only 800, by the way. At the top of the screen, you'll notice I have 1.7 million of the coins. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's a ton. Not really, everyone. It's about $1.74 United States currency as 10,000 points equals one cent on the Givy apps. Good thing about Givy videos, multiple cash out options for watching YouTube videos, which is nice to see. PayPal is at $1.04 United States currency. Coinbase is at 35 cents USD. Amazon is about 70 cents USD. They even have GK cash here, which I know some people like. But here's the thing, everyone. Givey Video's pay rate is like 10 cents per hour at this point. 
terrible, terrible stuff. I do appreciate that you can watch YouTube through it and get rewards. But at the end of the day, we don't get any money for it being YouTubers and the Gibby developer makes it all. They've got the new referral system here as well. You get 20 cents worth of your friends earning for a lifetime and your friend gets a 3 cent starting bonus. Plus, you can also send gifts apparently now as well. Still, very, very low paying application. They really need to do something about it. If you watch 74 videos, you can earn up to 6 cents almost in a day. From what I can see, guys, this has a limit though. Apparently, I can only earn up to $1.37. Each time you tap on a video, an advertisement appears. So that means they're getting you to watch 74 advertisements, essentially. Pretty brutal stuff. So next we have Game Tester, Play and Earn. Game Tester is trying to be one of these applications that reward you for playing a game per minute. At the top of the screen, you have your coin-based currency system. 11,000 coins essentially equals $5 worth of Australian currency. But I only have an Amazon cash out option available and you can see it goes all the way up to $50. And that's for almost 100,000 of the coin. At the moment, it's stating that if I play Raid Shadow Legends, I can earn $5 for 16 minutes straight of gameplay. You also notice this coins per minute system. You see, the thing is, everyone, that system is broken and not accurate at all. If I tap on play to earn and actually install Raid Shadow Legends on the phone, looking under the My Games tab will bring up the actual earning amount for each of the games that you install through Game Tester. So you'll notice here, under Raid Shadow Legends, I have a bonus challenge that is going to give me 75 coins at the end of two minutes. There is also an account bonus area as well. The more games that we install and play on Game Tester, the more bonus coins we'll get, which in reality is really minuscule and not really worth our time. I just played Raid Shadow Legends for four minutes straight and I only earned 75 of the coins. This is exactly what I'm talking about. With these applications, for some reason, they just don't track time properly and they also give fake promises. Like, check this out here, everyone, as well. If I play 14 minutes of this game, supposedly I'll earn $5 worth of currency and I can also earn up to 545 coins per minute. The thing is, I say up to, but they don't. So on the screen, if you're first looking at that, you'd probably think, hang on, I can earn 500 something coins per minute by playing the game. That's not how it works though. Simply look at this Raid Shadow Legends area and you can see the realistic side of how it really works. All in all, really disappointing stuff. In my own experience though, these developers have paid me one single time but I've also have not been paid another time by them. So it's like 50-50 if it's really worth it or not. I'd say probably one of the most important things you can do when choosing any type of money making application is just check out the reviews. It's pretty straightforward stuff everyone because usually they have the most accurate ones at the top. But like the first review at the top here is a three star rating and straight away I can see here, it does not pay as it states. I think some developers out there like to lie to their audiences so they get more downloads, but they don't realize it actually hurts them in the long run and kind of makes us never want to use their apps because we can't trust them. Pretty frustrating all in all. Be careful for the five star fake purchase ones as well. You can spot them a mile away. Usually they're just gibberish. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you all tomorrow for another review.